Okay, so we've got a topic here that helps if you can move something around. So it's difficult for me to un, um, explain it in a tutorial video. However, I'll just go through the rules and the concepts again. Um, so here you see many uh, symm symmetrical ge geometrical shapes in nature. The starfish and sunflower are two examples. S shapes such as these may have two types of symmetry, line and rotational. So firstly, a line of symmetry means that if you draw a line through a point of a shape, you get a mirror of it. So that means we could draw that line through and fold it perfectly in, hard, in half. Okay? If we drew a line this way, obviously we wouldn't get that. Okay? It wouldn't be a mirror image. If we folded it over, it wouldn't be equal. Okay? So a triangle only has one line of symmetry. There's another one. There's an order of line symmetry and is the number of axis of symmetry. The order of rotation is the number of times a shape can make an exact copy of itself in its original position after rotating 360 degrees. Okay, we say that there is no rotational symmetry if the order of rotational symmetry is equal to 1. So in the case of an equilateral triangle here, I can turn it three times and sit it on a different edge and it will look exactly the same every time. So that means that its order of rotation um, is three. Okay, This one back up here, it only has one once again because if I turn it, it's, it becomes a different shape. If I turn it again, it becomes a different shape. It only looks like this when it's in this um, position. Okay. So if I have a look at these, it says give the order of lines symmetry and the rotational symmetry for each of these. So there's a few few ways that I can um, split this up. If I draw a line like that, okay, it means that um, I can fold those over. So that's one line of symmetry. Like this, it's going to be exactly the same. On a diagonal, okay. If I fold these two pieces of paper over diagonally, I need to make sure that they match up on each side, which they do. Okay? In a square they do. In a rectangle they won't. Okay, so and obviously going back the other way. Sorry, I'm not very good with this mouse. So that means I have one, two, three four in line symmetry okay four in line symmetry now I'm going to see if I can get a little bit tricky here all right so one looks the same two oh, two can't see it but three and obviously where we start again, four. So it also has four for our rotational symmetry. Okay? So four for the line symmetry in this one and four for the rotational symmetry. In this instance, okay, I need to work out whether or not I can do exactly the same thing here. Um, I'm going to leave this one up to you. Now, it's really handy. If you do not know what the answer is, if you can't work it out, get yourself a piece of paper and actually cut these shapes out. If you cut these shapes out and actually get hands-on with it, you will actually find that it's far easier to work out. Okay? So if you're having trouble with it, just grab a piece of paper and a pair of scissors, cut these shapes out and have a, have a play around with it. Um, hands on and then that way you will be able to see 
the order of line symmetry and also the rotational symmetry.